Hello and welcome to the first in a series of videos on vectors. Now, if you're uh, a fan of the film Despicable Me, you're probably shouting at the screen about who this character is here. And this is Vector, also known as Victor Perkins. And um, he has a famous quote in the film, which is, I'm committing crimes with both direction and magnitude. And that is just a small hint as to uh, what a vector is. So in this video, I'm just going to introduce you to what vectors are and the notation that we use to represent vectors. So the first question is, what is a vector? Well, a vector is a quantity that contains both a magnitude and a direction. And we can represent vectors using some arrows. So let's draw a vector on our graph here. So let's say our vector starts in this position and it goes all the way up to here. Okay, now remember a vector has a direction. So at the moment we don't know which direction this vector is going, but um, I can write an, draw an arrow on, on here to show the direction. So let's say our vector is going in this direction here. So we can see that it has a magnitude. The magnitude just means the length of the line. So we're starting here and finishing here. So that is our length. And it also has a direction, this direction here. So I have drawn a vector, but I need to give this a label. So let's label this vector and let's just give it a, a label with a lowercase a. And generally you will see vectors, um, the label for vectors being in bold. Now, when we're referring to vectors, there are three different notations we can use, which is quite unfortunate. But um, the first one is just to use the label that has been assigned to it. So we could call that vector vector A. Okay. The other, another way is if we didn't have a bold pen, okay, if we just had a, a regular pen, we could still write A, but we would have to put an underline, well, a line underneath it to represent the vector. And now the third way you may see a vector labeled is by using the start and end points. So let's say this point was A and this point was B, capital A and capital B. Now we can see our vector, the direction of our vector starts at A and finishes at B. So we can write it in that order like this, A, B. But to show that it's a vector, we need to draw an arrow above our two letters. So we've got three different ways of representing exactly the same vector. And now the reason I'm showing you this is because you may see it written these three different ways, depending on what you're reading. So if you've got a particular textbook or in an exam, or if your teacher teaches you in a particular way, they will refer to one of these three different methods. And I know it seems a bit excessive, but unfortunately we just got to go with it. Okay, let's draw another vector on our grid. So this time, let's say we're going to start here and we're going to go all the way up to this point here. Let's change the color. Let's make it red. Okay, and the direction that I need to specify, let's say we're going to go in the same direction. Okay, so we're going in the same direction here. Now, the question I'm going to ask you is, are these two vectors the same or are they different? Now, the answer to that is they are exactly the same. And the reason they're the same is because they have the same magnitude and the same direction. OK, these two lines are parallel, so they have the same direction. And you can see that the length of the line is exactly the same. So these two vectors are the same. OK, the position of our vector does not matter. OK, so it doesn't matter where I draw this vector. I could draw it on Victor if I wanted to. Um, as long as the direction and the magnitude are the same, it is the same vector. So we can also give that a label A. OK, let, let's draw another one. Let, this time, let's draw the same line. OK, so let's say we put the same line. So we can see that the, the magnitude is exactly the same. And again, let's change the color. But this time, I'm going to change the direction. So I'm going to go in this direction here. Now, are these, are, is this vector the same as these two? Well, the answer to that is definitely not, no. Although they have the same magnitude, the direction is completely different. So we're going in the opposite direction. So we can still give it a label A, but we have to write negative A in front. Of it. So we have to write, put a negative sign in front of it. So whenever you have a vector going in the opposite direction, we just take the negative of that vector. OK, so this one we could call negative A. And again, if we wanted to write it using um, the start and end point, so let, let's write this vector down here. So we could call it negative A like that. 
And again, if we didn't have a bold pen, we could just write negative A with a line underneath it. Or we could use the start and end points. Now, we don't, we don't have the start and end points here, but we know it's exa exactly the same direction as this one. So we can still use A and B. But instead of going from A to B, we're going from B to A. So we can write it in this order, B, A, with a line with an arrow above it. OK, right, let's draw two more vectors on our grid. So the next vector I'm going to draw. So this time I'm going to start here and finish here. And let's make this one orange. OK, what direction are we going in? Let's say we're going to go in. Let's do the same direction as the original ones okay, in this direction. So we can see that they're clearly different. This is clearly different to these three, but the direction is the same. The direction is the same as A, but notice the length of the line, the magnitude is half the magnitude of this line. So we can still give it the label A, but instead of writing A, we can we have to say this would be a half A. Actually, let me just change that to a bold. So a half A. So this one we could say it's a half A because the line is just half as long. And let's do one more. Let's do one more. So this time I'm going to start down here and I'm going to go. I'm going to go all the way up to here and apologies. It's going to go through the the, um, the label, but um, hopefully you can still see what's going on. Let's call. Let's make this one future. Now, what label can I give to this? Well, first of all, I need the direction. Let's specify the direction. Let's say we're going down this time. OK, so this is our vector. How can we label this vector? Well, just like all of the other ones, the direction is the same. Well, the direction is the same as the blue one. They're, they're all parallel, but the direction is the same as the blue one. So it would be along the lines of negative A. But notice it, the line is twice as long. So because it's twice, the magnitude is twice the size of the blue line, we could say it is negative 2a. OK, so we've got all different variations of our original vector a because the direction that they're all parallel. They're just scaled up versions and they're some of them are just going in the opposite direction. So this number, fine, I've almost finished this video, but just one more thing before we leave is that this number in front of our a this has a name okay so in front of this blue line we could say that that's negative one so this would be negative one a this would be negative two a and this is half a so these numbers in front of our our vectors have a particular name and that name is a scalar so we can multiply vectors by scalars to change their magnitude or change their direction so if we start with this vector a I just multiplied this vector by a half to get this vector. I multiplied it by negative one to get this blue vector. And I multiplied it by negative two to get this purple vector. So we can multiply vectors by scalars. So I'm going to leave it there for this video, but we're going to carry on our vector journey in the next video where we will be looking at column vectors. Hopefully I will see you then. Take care.